Hey gang, so recently I did that video review of... <laughs> hey gang, so recently I did that review of the Pearl Session Studio Select Kit, that's still hard to say, um, that I was taking care of for my friends in the Journey Tribute. And um, my friend Matt, I'm going to give a shout out to Matt, Matt Kerwin, Music For All. Check him out, that's who I bought this from and I helped the guys buy the um, session kit from. And he messaged me this week, hey man, um, don't know if you are interested or the guy's interested, but I've got a, uh, uh, one of those matching snares, the Studio Select, but it's, uh, called Scarlet Ash. I was like, really? So he sent me a picture. It's like, huh, six and a half. And b bottom line, I bought it. So here it is. I put my gold hoops on it. I had an extra set, uh, with all my stuff. So I swapped those out because, you know, I got gold. But this is it. It's that same... Um, black satin ash except it's red uh, which goes good with this so I got gold hoops um, lugs are still chrome and it's a nice finish man I'm, I'm really impressed and one thing you probably won't be able to hear it but you can take your fingernail this is not a cover this is actually lines in the actual finish hear that that's my fingernail hitting the different you know lines in it so it's it's a really nice finish like i said it's a matte so it's not shiny like the rest of them but it looks good and on stage like their their kit has been looking awesome so anyway i figured since i just got this thing uh i would do a just a little demo demo review for you so the way i tune my stuff usually is kind of medium high so i think that's how i got this i'll do it through the mics without the mics just overheads. So it's really sensitive. I was trying to tune the bottom head. As I mentioned before, uh, really tight. Um, that way it's really sensitive. And the snares are pretty. They're pretty tight. They're not, you know, um, choking it or anything. And they're not rattling like crazy either. Got a little bit afterwards. But I think in a groove. pretty nice so here it is with a couple of my muffling things this is my that's not it I dropped it hang on there it is it fell this is my muffler I've used for years I don't buy them I cut them out of an old drum head I think this is part of an emperor head that I just cut and um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of thin but it's just one of those so here it is with that Okay, hey guys, I'm in the middle of another video right now. It's like a time thing. Installing this Zicket thing. But I just realized something while I was doing it that I wanted to throw in the other video um, of the review of this thing is I was looking at the snare as I'm installing the jig part on this for drilling the hole and putting the lever on here. But I was looking at it, I was like, something doesn't look right. And I realized that something they did, which is pretty cool, is if you look here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the edge goes up a little bit where the snare bed strainer goes across. You may know that, I didn't know that. I don't think any of my other snares do that. I've never seen it before, but I looked on the other side and I was like, sure enough, that does go up a little bit. So, and what that does is it helps the thing sit better, um, which would explain some of the sensitivity, coolness of this drum, but anyway, again, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does, it goes up just a little bit and you know just i thought it was cool so anyway back to the regular video and i'm going to finish this video later 
So that's what that sounds like with that one. And the other one I got sitting here um, is a, that's like a regular thick head. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't remember. But it's, it's uh, wider, so it's going to muffle more. There it is in the center. That's not rim shot. Ballad sound like it. So there's that. And if you tune it up a little bit, just about halfway around. Mufflers again, my regular. And a little more. So let me know what you think. I'm digging it. So I haven't got to mess with it too much. Um, gonna record some with it and I may get some gold lugs for it also. Uh, I think it'll look cool with some tube lugs. So um, may see about that. But anyway, just wanna let you check this out. Um, oh, the other thing I'm gonna do to it, cause uh, I saw Casey Cooper post about this. So what I did, got this, I'm gonna do a demo like install and then a demo of it, but this is that, I don't know how you say it, Zykit, Zikit, however you say it. Um, I'm gonna install this in this one because you have to drill a hole and I was kind of nervous about doing one of those over there, like the 50th anniversary or not doing the Ferroni, you know, these snares are like, eh, I don't want to drill a hole in some of these, but then it got this, it was like, you know what, let's do it. So anyway, so that's the snare. Um, Check it out, hit Matt up if you're interested in it. He will take care of you. And um, I think it's a good sound of snare, again, for inexpensive. It's like 320, 300-ish, I think. So, um, good bang for the buck. Catch you later.